It's regarding the Geneva Business School. We have with us academic registrar Mark Hatton. Mark, so can you tell us a little bit more about the evolution of the school? Of course. Business School started about uh, 20 years ago. In fact, we had our 20th anniversary uh, this year. Um, it started off as IFGP, uh, which is Institute de Formation de Gestionnaire de Patrimoine. Uh, Institute for employees in the private banks and insurance companies. And uh, it was formed by Professor Khan and Dr. Gassim. About 20 years ago, they had the vision of uh, creating um, this sort of short-term training uh, for employees uh, within Geneva uh, and the surrounding regions. And uh, there was a lot of demand around uh, 2000. Uh, so we started off in Geneva, and uh, we've since um, we've since uh, taken over uh, other business schools. We've taken over other programs as well, and we've added uh, many programs since. And uh, we're now uh, the Geneva Business School, um, which is located in 53 Avenue Blanc. Uh, we're in a very nice building, and we're situated about 10 minutes walk from the United Nations, uh, two minutes walk from uh, the lake and about 10 minutes walk from the main train station. All right, Mark, so what has been the driving force behind the success of Geneva Business School? I think um, Geneva Business School, also known as GBS, um, we've, we started, as I said, uh, the university started um, around uh, 2000. Since then, we've had a very good uh, team. Um, the idea is to try to create this business school network. So uh, we've tried to concentrate on the accreditations and improving the, the quality uh, as much as possible. Uh, as a result of that, um, we've, uh, the number of students has grown. Um, we've been very successful when it comes to uh, growing our reputation uh, overseas. Um, the idea of the boutique business school network, um, by having a, a small campus in Geneva, we've tried to limit the number of students that we have in Geneva so that we can offer a high quality service. As a result of that high quality service, uh, we've had more and more people, um, so former students, alumni who have come to us, and they've recommended and referred other students as well. Um, that's, I believe, our, that's been our, our success and the key to, to our success so far. So you mentioned about being successful overseas, but it's a pretty competitive area in Geneva. What makes you different? What makes us different? Um, I would say there are, there are three main areas. Um, the first one would be uh, the fact that we only employ active business professionals. Um, so we make that quite clear when students come to us at the start, um, they are going to be taught by uh, professionals in a particular area. So if they're going to be studying uh, finance, international finance with us, and they have uh, subjects like hedge fund uh, management or technical analysis or portfolio management, they will typically be taught by somebody who is working and is an expert in that particular area. So we employ people from the Geneva region, also employ people from overseas. Uh, and they come and they teach for maybe two hours or four hours on a weekly basis. Or if there are case studies, uh, as I mentioned, we have uh, professors from Florida, from Dubai. They come in at the end of the semester and they teach just for a, a couple of days at a time, two, three days at a time. So the active business professional is a, is a key selling point. I think number two would be the fact that uh, we offer a very high quality service. So this boutique business school network um, allows us to limit the number of students. As a result of that, um, we offer a, a very sort of one-on-one -on -one, uh, service. So we collect the students at the airport, uh, we take care of the accommodation, we take care of visas, we take care of permits, we assist them when it comes to opening up bank accounts. Uh, even if they want to apply for uh, a bus pass, uh, we have a dedicated um, administrative team who takes care of everything from A to Z. So that's the second point regarding the high quality service. Uh, the third point I believe would be our link with industry and the various uh, local and international industries. Um, we have a career workshop, um, so we have a team who takes care of uh, the preparation, the interview techniques, everything all the way leading up to trying to get a job. Uh, because we do have the possibility of internships uh, within the programs, uh, bachelor and master level, as long as it doesn't interrupt their studies. I believe that's, that's one of the key points as well for students who are interested in studying with us, who are maybe already in part-time or full-time employment. They don't have to terminate their professional activities. They can combine them so they can come and study with us and they can continue their job at the same time. So I believe that would be a, a very strong uh, third point.
Okay, and lastly for today, what is planned for the future of the school? Future plans. Um, I think it will be to consolidate some of the projects that we've just launched recently. Um, Geneva Business School, as I said, is a boutique school uh, network. Um, as a result of that, the, uh, the owners and the, the managers of the university have tried to adopt a similar sort of approach to what we have in Geneva, but now in Barcelona. So we have a very nice campus in Barcelona, which was launched a few years ago. Uh, in Saudi Arabia, we have a very uh, successful um, network over there. We have a, a large number of students who have already signed up to our programs in the last year. In United Arab Emirates, uh, we have a very successful um, group of MBAs uh, which have started there. Um, in Kazakhstan, we have executive programs as well, starting in Astana. We have very, very strong links with companies. We actually had uh, a scholarship program, so a, a national competition uh, to allow some of the uh, elite, I would say, uh, students apply uh, to our programs over there. And in Moscow, uh, we have uh, links with a very, very uh, good university over in Moscow, one of the, the state-run universities, which allows us to have um, a foothold in Russia, and that will be used in the future as a, a campus uh, for training. At the moment, it's used as a recruitment center. So I really believe uh, the idea of operating this sort of high-quality service that we have in Geneva, but around the world, and the other main advantage would be for our students who come to us in Geneva or to one of our other campuses, would be to transfer and have exchange programs within our business network. So they can go from one campus to another and uh, continue their studies without any interruption. Excellent. Mark, thank you very much for coming in today. Thank you, Sam. And thank you for watching. Be sure to click back to Dukoscopy TV for more updates and exclusive interviews. We'll see you next time.